Hello friends, welcome to SRS by tutorial. I am Samaranjan. In this video, we will discuss about omega oxidation of fatty acid. It involves hydroxylation followed by oxidation of omega carbon present as methyl group at the opposite end of carboxylic end of fatty acid. This is a minor pathway for fatty acid degradation. It takes place when beta oxidation is defective because of mutation or deficiency of carnitine. Omega oxidation of fatty acid occurs in the endoplasmic reticulum of liver and kidney of vertebrates. Now come to the process of omega oxidation of fatty acids. This process includes hydroxylation of fatty acid, oxidation of fatty alcohol, and oxidation of fatty aldehyde. After these steps, the final product of this process enters into mitochondrion matrix and undergo beta oxidation by the normal route. This is a fatty acid which contains carboxylic group in one end whereas the opposite end has a omega carbon as methyl group. In hydroxylation of fatty acid, the mixed function oxidase introduces a hydroxyl group onto the omega carbon of fatty acid. The oxygen for hydroxyl group comes from molecular oxygen. The cytochrome P450 is responsible for this hydroxylation to produce fatty alcohol. During this process, an NADPH acts as electron donor. The next step is oxidation of fatty alcohol. In this step, the hydroxyl group of fatty alcohol is oxidized to aldehyde group and produces fatty aldehyde. This reaction is catalyzed by alcohol dehydrogenase. During this step, a molecule of NAD plus is reduced into NADH. Next step is oxidation of fatty aldehyde. In this step, the aldehyde group is oxidized to carboxylic group by aldehyde dehydrogenase and produces a fatty acid with carboxylic group at each end. During this reaction, another NAD plus is reduced into NADH. Beta oxidation of dicarboxylic fatty acid. The either end of fatty acid can be attached to coenzyme A and the molecule can enter into mitochondrion matrix. Inside the mitochondrion, it undergoes sequence of beta oxidation to produce succinate and adipate. The succinate can enter into citric acid cycle and converted into energy equivalents. Like that, the adipate enters into its own catabolic pathway to produce succinyl coenzyme A and acetyl coenzyme A. These two molecules again can enter into citric acid cycle and they are also converted into energy equivalents.